What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I went out and about today. I was a little bored at home, so I decided to go into town and visit Kirkland's and Ulta. And as soon as I walked into Kirkland's, all of their fall decor was out and it makes me want to decorate for fall so bad, but I'm gonna wait until September 1st. I'm gonna wait till September 1st. But I wanted to go ahead and share what I picked up from both places, because I did pick up a few things from Kirkland's and a few things from Ulta. Um, I'll go ahead and start with Kirkland's first, since that was my first stop. I got this, and this is something that obviously I can have up year round. I'm gonna place this in my kitchen. I think that this is so beautiful. It's gonna tie in really good with my like cooking boards and stuff. But I'm gonna set this on my countertop in my kitchen and this is something that I can use to put different decor things in. Like for example, I bought some little white pumpkins to put in here for fall to like tie in holiday de decorations with. So I bought a little pack of these white pumpkins and they have multiple little baggies of like different color, different style, like whatever your like color scheme is for your fall decor. I really liked the white pumpkins, so I'm gonna set those in there. Maybe like put a candle in the middle or something. Maybe throw in a couple other little colored pumpkins, but I thought that was so cute. And this big piece is just like a really pretty like staple piece to have that can be out all year round. One of my decor pillows on the couch has just lived its last days. It's really flat because Kevin is horrible about using my decor pillows as actual relaxation pillows. So I grabbed this guy to put on my couch. I'm worried now that it's gonna match my couch too much, but um, I thought it was pretty. I loved the tassels, I love the color, but it might not go with my couch because my couch is beige and this is pretty nude, but we'll see, we'll see how it looks. We'll see how it looks, but I'm, I'm a sucker for a good throw pillow. The girl just like really wrapped my stuff up so nice for me. The next things are just little knickknacks. Something I'm a sucker for is a good coffee mug. I drink coffee every single day. They had these cute little fall mugs. I saw this one and it says Hocus Pocus on it. How cute. It is such a good size too. So I have a Hocus Pocus mug. Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out on Disney Plus and I really hope they don't ruin hocus pocus you know what i mean um and then this one is another big giant mug and it's fall flannels and football so that is so cute kirkland's i freaking love kirkland's it doesn't matter if i'm not looking for a certain something i go into kirkland's and kirkland speaks to me and tells me what i need almost every single time i go into kirkland's i can find something a lot of the stuff in my house is from there. So Kirkland's sells candles and all their candles were on sale for right under $10 today. I got this one. It is Falling Leaves and Amber. It smells so good. I have been just stocking Bath & Body Works, but their candles have not gone on sale in forever and I refuse to buy their candles full price. I just refuse because they burn so quickly. I mean, they're some of my favorites. They smell so good. I know that they're absolutely terrible for you to breathe in, but they smell so good and their fall scents are my favorite. But this one from Kirkland's, I'll show it to you again, smells so good and has that like Bath and Body Works fall candle vibe. So, mm, I can't wait. I cannot wait to decorate. Like seriously, it gave, I had like no interest or not, not no interest, but like decorating for fall, like was not on my radar at all until I walked into Kirkland's today. And then that spilled over into some of my purchases from Ulta. So like, I'm in, I'm, fall vibes are here. Okay, moving on to Ulta next. The whole purpose of me going into Ulta was to get deodorant. Um, I picked up the Kopari deodorant. I love a good natural deodorant. I, my favorites are this one, and I like the Sol de Janeiro from Sephora. I don't know if that one's clean or not, but I really like it. Um, Drunk Elephant's deodorant is okay. Um, and then I do like native deodorant, but only the sensitive formula. I can wear the sensitive formula, no problem. The coconut vanilla, I think that's the scent that I like the best. My favorite. Um, I cannot do the regular 
formula, it just irritates my armpits. Um, I it's it's not as irritating as it was before. I think because I've been wearing a natural deodorant long enough to where my armpits are used to it. But the regular native formula, I can't do it. But the sensitive formula, I can do. So if you're you know have the same reaction as me to native deodorant, try the sensitive formula way better. I picked up a couple other things from Kapari that I haven't tried. I really enjoy Kapari products. I love their coconut melt. I use it in the shower to shave with. The best like shave oil, shave butter. It hydrates your skin, moisturizes, and gives you a really close, clean shave. Um, so I bought some body wash. This is the Kopari Coconut Body Wash. Cleanse and hydrate with coconut water and sea kelp. I am really trying to be better about the ingredients in my products. Obviously not perfect, um, but I am trying to be better. So Kopari is a, is a good brand and has really nice ingredients. So... I'm gonna try this, I'm really excited about that. And then another shower product, I got the Hydrating Vitamin C Shower Oil. Now I was kind of confused if this was like a body wash or not. Um, I couldn't really tell, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bathe with the body wash and then with the Hydrating Vitamin C Shower Oil, what I'm gonna do is when I turn off my shower and my body's still wet, well, actually, no, you can't do that. So, never mind. With this one, what I'm gonna do is when I'm still in the shower, after I've bathed, done all that, I'm going to apply this to my body, rinse it, because that's, I think, what you're supposed to do via the directions, and then rinse, and my skin is going to get that vitamin C action and that oily action to hydrate. It also says you can use this as a shave, um, shave oil as well, so. Um, those are the little body products that I got. And then your girl is still obsessed with cream eyeshadow. Cream eyeshadow is just my thing these days. So I picked up a, another um, eyeshadow stick from Bobbi Brown. This time I got it in the shade Cinnamon. This is where the fall vibes come in because this is such a good brown for fall. It's like a very nice red brown and it's gonna blend out so, so nice. So that is such a good medium warm brown shadow for fall. And then Laura Mercier has these little duo sticks. I'm pretty sure this is the mini size, but it came with two. It's the mini caviar stick duet sublime shimmers. This one has burnished bronze and rose gold. I did swatch these in store and again with the fall vibes. All vibes are officially here for me, folks. Officially here. They're so cute and so little. So we'll swatch burnished bronze first. Here's burnished bronze, and then you blend it out, and it's just like a really pretty, like burgundy shimmer. Not too much, but you can build it up if you want a more intense color. And then I'll do rose gold on this hand. It's kind of hard to see against my skin tone, but it's just like a really pretty nice lid shade. I've always wanted rose gold anyway, so kind of, you know, pushed me over the edge into buying the little set, but I'm still obsessed with cream shadows. Favorite thing to do is take my blush and my bronzer and apply that to my eyes and then pop a cream shadow on the lid or all over. Um, just super quick, super easy. Gives you a really pretty subtle smoky eye or doesn't have to be subtle. You could go all out too, but just really love cream shadows. It's super simple and super quick and super easy. So that is what I picked up today. Not real sure what else this vlog is going to hold, but you know, I'm going to pick up the camera when I can and we'll just see where the vlog takes us. What's up you guys? It's a few days later and it's hair day. I'm so excited to get my hair redone. Um, I'm just going to touch up my color and get my hair trimmed and redo my face framing layers probably start about here i love that fringy look but another exciting thing pumpkin spice is back baby and just in time for me where i finished my animal based 30 challenge i filmed every week of my meals and how I did on the challenge and all that so if you missed those videos those are really good videos I'm actually still gonna continue to be meat based I'm just going to tweak the carbs that I have a little bit but I got a pumpkin spice latte I get it non-fat no foam no whipped cream and I only do two pumps of 
pumpkin to cut down on all that sugar. I also got the bacon and Gruyere egg bites. I haven't had these in a hot minute um, and it's nine o'clock. So um, I'll probably be at the hair salon for like two to three hours. So I wanna eat a little something and eat a little something before I have my pumpkin spice latte. So um, I'm gonna eat my egg bites to get a good amount of fat and protein in and then we have my coffee and um, I'll grab lunch after the hair salon. I also have a couple of packages coming in today, so when those come in, I will share, and then I'll obviously share, you know, my freshly done hair. It actually still looks pretty, it looks pretty good, but my roots are a little dark, so we need to bring some of that color back up and then trim up my layers, so um, it'll be an easy day at the salon, and I will see you guys after. What's up you guys? I just got home a little bit ago from getting my hair done and this is what it looks like. I got my balayage redone and what she does is she does baby lights at the top with some stronger face framing pieces. Um, we also do like a platinum ash toner. I do get a full so she does go all the way through. I used to get partials, but I get fulls now. Um, the color is absolute perfection. I love how she has just perfected my color. And then we trimmed up my um, face framing layers. I love this sort of like fringy, wispy hair. Um, it is definitely my favorite. So um, we have perfected the way that I get my hair done now. It just looks so so good so i'm so happy with it kevin loves it too he's like i like the way that the front looks i'm like yeah i know me too um and then my shortest face framing layer is about right here i could go a little bit shorter but i feel like it looks so good my hair had grown out so much the last time i had gotten my hair done was in april so april may june july august it's been like four months um, but my hair had grown s several inches so my hair grows pretty darn fast um, so it was time to uh, trim up the layers and I love the color. She did such a good job and the baby lights at the top look so good. Um, especially too when it starts to grow out. I can still like my hair still looks decent as it grows out. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys the hair. What's up you guys? I got an email this morning that Bath and Body Works has all of their fall scents out and all the three wick candles are on sale. I have been saving these Bath and Body Works gift cards for the fall candles and for a sale. So mama's gonna go spend these today. I refuse to buy Bath and Body Works candles at full price or at regular price. It's just, they have sales all the time. It's not worth it. But <clears throat> I had mentioned in an earlier clip that I had a package coming in the mail and this is the package. The new products from Charlotte Tilbury her new beautiful skin concealer, and then what is her powder called? The Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder. She has two shades. I got mine in the Fair to Light. It's just like a white crystally powder. I have both on today. Um, the concealer I got in the shade for Fair. So, first impression. Yesterday was the first time that I wore them for the first time. They're not revolutionary. Um, but they're not bad. This powder, I feel like it's going to be a hit or miss for some people. It's not the greatest finishing powder I've ever used. And honestly, when you first apply it, it looks really freaking dry. Like it looks, does not look good when you first apply it, but give it about 10 to 15 minutes and it really sinks into the skin. I applied it. So if you watch me normally, you know how I apply my stuff, but I apply foundation, concealer, set with my normal powders, and then I apply my finishing powder. Some people like to apply their finishing powder after their bronzer blush highlight. I like to do it after I set my foundation, but before I apply bronzer blush and highlight. So that's how I applied this. And then the concealer, it's a medium coverage concealer. I wore it yesterday um, with the hourglass the new hourglass foundation okay this is what the shade for fair looks like it's not it's definitely lighter than my skin tone but i like my concealer to be brighter 
than and lighter than my foundation just because I like a brighter t-zone um, it's more of a medium coverage concealer so it has pretty decent coverage it's not a full coverage type concealer like the hourglass so I didn't do as glam full coverage of a face today so with this concealer I like more of a day-to-day -day medium coverage look um, definitely wouldn't wear it if I were going out somewhere or wanted to be like full coverage flawless type of base but for day to day I feel like it'd be pretty good um, it seems like it would be good regardless of your skin tone or your skin type maybe if you're oily this wouldn't be the best concealer but if you're dry to normal to combo I think you should give it a try if you're oily give it a try but I just see this concealer not being the best on oily skin um, but I have it on today I feel like it looks pretty good it wore pretty well yesterday um, it does not fare well with sunglass marks I think the overall the hourglass concealer for me personally is better um, it's totally different but it's full coverage it stays in place better um, this is a better like day-to-day -day, uh, medium coverage concealer but it's not terrible I thought after seeing a couple of reviews that I would immediately want to return these products I don't know if they're return worthy but they're not groundbreaking or revolutionary. Um, I think that there are better finishing powders out there and the concealer's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. The only thing that might be return worthy for me is the finishing powder. Like the hourglass powders are way better. Um, the YSL 3D all over glow is way better. So I honestly might return this powder. I'll let you know, um, but I might keep the concealer because it's not bad, but I would say skip the powder and try the concealer if you're wanting to try one of the new releases but i feel like charlotte tilbury's releases lately have been very hit or miss um i was really excited for those matte cream pots the matte eyes to mesmerize that she came out with a while back those were a huge fail they were awful um i immediately returned those her newer eyes to mesmerize like my exaggerized ones the shimmery ones those are amazing um this powder not worth it um and this concealer is not mind-blowing i mean i ended up selling the beautiful foundation on poshmark because it was okay um i wasn't loving it and at this point i don't keep things that i'm not like head over heels for um but I'm going to keep wearing the concealer for the next couple of days and see if it's worth keeping. Um, but as of right now, this bad boy is going back. Handbag, let's talk about the handbag that I'm carrying today. I switched into my Gucci Soho Disco. It has been a hot minute since I've carried this bag. I've honestly considered selling it um, because it's been forever since I've carried it. but. I decided to pull her out today and carry her. Also, don't mind my thumb. I completely lost my thumbnail. It is all gone and it's stained right now. i am been trying to get my stain off. Complete different side note from the handbag that I'm carrying today, but I see it every time I film. Um, it was a softball accident. We played in a softball tournament, like I feel like it's like two months ago now. But, um, and I had on dip nails and I guess I was holding my thumb forward in my glove and when I caught a ball it like hit the tip of my nail well it bruised it like the whole thing was black and I was like oh, great I'm gonna freaking lose my nail well my nail never fell off but um, I realized a couple I think it was two weeks ago now my nail had completely lifted off the nail bed like it was not attached at all um, it was attached like right a little bit past my cuticle line so that part was still adhered and it still is now but the nail had completely lifted and once it had completely lifted and separated from the nail bed it did not take long for you know water to settle in there and it turned green it's disgusting I know so I took my dip off 
and saw that like my whole nail was green. I was like, great. Well, it also had, I was gonna try to save the nail, but I couldn't. It had completely cracked, so I trimmed it off. And it's, I'm not even gonna show you guys because it's hideous. But it's nothing but nail bed and just a little bit of real nail. Um, I've been doing all of the remedies. I've got all the antifungal creams and the antibiotic creams. And the best thing, honestly, that's worked for it is soaking it in bleach. I looked up so many home remedies for correcting a green fingernail um, in this situation. And bleach has by far and away been the best. It's like one part bleach, four parts water, and I just soak it for a few minutes at a time. I have to put like aqua four on my nail bed because the bleach will, it, it's just sensitive right there. So the bleach burns it if I don't put a protector. But it was way darker than this. And um, the bleach has pretty much killed it. It's almost completely gone. I think at this point, the like, fungal part is gone it's just stained and it's gonna have to grow out i think at this point so that's my disgusting nail story i've never lost a fingernail before but my thumb is straight up just a nub and absolutely disgusting don't recommend okay i just got home but before i share what i got from bath and body works and all that i think maybe i spoke too soon about the charlotte tilbury powder I looked at myself in my car mirror in full-blown natural daylight and my makeup actually looks pretty darn good like my skin looks super smooth it doesn't look crepey or powdery or anything so I think it's one of those weird powders where it probably will be a hit or miss for some people but it's one of those powders that doesn't look great the moment it's applied i think it needs like a good half hour to really like melt into your skin and melt into your foundation um but i feel like my skin looks pretty pretty great i don't know how it's translating on camera i won't really know until i edit this video but in natural daylight my skin it looks good so I take back what I said about the powder being an absolute return. I don't think that I'm going to. I will definitely wear it the next couple of days and give y'all a update in my next video. But I take back what I said about it not being good because my skin looks pretty great. I mean, I did more of like a lighter makeup look today, but I'm gonna keep playing with it. So scratch what I said and the negative Nancy that I was being about the powder, I take it back. So yeah, let, let's get on with what else I need to share. Looks like we're ending the vlog where we started. Same exact location, pretty much doing the same exact thing. This entire vlog has turned out to be one giant haul. I picked up Bath & Body Works candles. So quickly, I'm gonna share the scents. I almost said flavors, but the scents that I got. A lot of these are cult favorites. Basically these scents are the ones that I get every single fall and I just like rotate them out. But we have Marshmallow Fireside. We have White Pumpkin. Sweater Weather, one of my personal favorites. Leaves, another personal fave. Fresh Fall Morning. I don't know if I've ever had this one, but it smells divine. Last but not least, Flannel. I forgot another personal fave. Oh, smells so good. And I'm not the only one in this house that likes these candles. Everybody in my house, including the children, loves these candles. The first time that I light them and they come inside and don't know that I got the candles, they always say something about how good it smells and how they're happy that the candles are back. So I know that Bath & Body Works candles are probably some of the worst candles you can buy as far as like endocrine disruptors but they smell so good and i only get these during holiday season so i'm just gonna disrupt away last thing before i go pumpkin spice is back at starbucks i feel like you're either a duncan person or a starbucks person i personally dislike duncan i can never get a coffee that i like when i order from there everything is always so damn sweet and i saw a breakdown 
of the pumpkin spice. I don't know if it's the cold brew or something from Duncan, but it's got like 150 grams of sugar in it. It's absolutely insane. But I want to tell you what I do for my own personal pumpkin spice enjoyment at Starbucks. This is like a vanilla pumpkin latte. So what I do is I order a non-fat latte, no foam, and no whip. And I get two pumps of pumpkin, I get two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, and then the pumpkin spice seasoning on top. It's like a creamy vanilla pumpkin, and it is so delightful. I don't ever order like a standard pumpkin spice with the proper allotment of pumpkin pumps. It's too much for me. Like I can't do, like for a grande, I think they do four pumps. That's way too much for me. Also, I'm, I try to be mindful of the sugar content. So two pumps of the pumpkin is perfect and um, I get the sugar-free vanilla because it adds the vanilla flavor without adding the extra sugar. Um, but yeah, if you've never tried like a little vanilla pumpkin spice situation, I highly recommend. But that's gonna be it for me for this hodgepodge of a vlog. It was basically new things for fall, random bits and pieces of my week and just like one giant haul basically. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.